run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So this one is going to be a little bit different. Now I went over to Carl Jenkins' channel a while ago and I was watching one of the live streams and I think, if I remember rightly, it was a pound, it was a Poundland Hall live stream. Now, of course on this channel and on many other UK retail channels, we mainly do stuff about reselling. But as I've said in the past, well I'm going to slip in a little 5% of content that is different. I do want to incorporate a very, very low percentage of my videos of just other random stuff that might tie in slightly to reselling or to life or to saving money or to this or to that whatever it may be or um, not necessarily saving money but investing money and things like you know loads of different things just a small percentage of the videos uh, so obviously the vast majority of the videos on my channel are going to be reselling related anyway I was over there on her channel and uh, I got intrigued by this Poundland haul idea and it's a couple of weeks later now or a few weeks later at least I don't know exactly Exactly, but it's a few weeks later from then and uh, I, I was actually in Winsford today which is a town not too far from me and there was a home bargains there now I know it's not exactly a pound land but it is in sort of a similar vein so I set myself a budget and I also wanted to pick up um, things that I would use or possibly a couple of things as well that I just found were interesting or were things that you don't normally see in let's say the bigger supermarkets like Sainsbury's, Tesco's, um, Weight Rose, M&S, that sort of stuff. So I sent myself a budget of £10 and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that very well there. I've not actually got my um, preview screen on my phone. It won't come up for some reason so I've not got a preview to look at this with. But yeah, essentially I paid £9.91 from £10. I didn't really actually break it down when I was going around the store to try and add up whether it would be £10 or not. It just kind of fell at £9.91 happily. So that was nice. What's the word? Is it serendipitous? A, a happy accident or something like that, isn't it? So it was just kind of a happy accident. I was, you know, briefly looking at a few of the costs and I knew it would be maybe around £8 or £9, but I didn't know it was going to be so bang on. It was £9.91. So that's very, very good. Close to, very, very close to the budget. Anyway, so I've got a few different bits and bobs. I'm going to get them up one by one and share with you uh, a few of the items and obviously explain in a few of the circumstances why I bought them, what I'm using them for, etc. And uh, and yeah, that'll do for the haul. I guess that's what people do. So yeah, we're just going to uh, go about it that way and, and see if you guys like it. If you do like it, then obviously please do uh, drop a comment down below or drop a like on the video. And I'm more than happy to do some more of these style videos or possibly some other hauls from various other different high street stores as well or possibly online stores um but yeah just interesting different videos so let me share with you the first item so first off i got this um stationary store uh, a4 clipboard now i'm actually recording this on a tripod and underneath the tripod there is kind of a notebook and I wanted to use this to kind of clip the notebook onto it um, and it just it's it's handy it's I've, I've always uh, thought that it'd be quite nice to have one of these kind of clipboards and it's good because obviously it's more sturdy it's more solid than the notebook or the notepad itself um, and yeah that'll come in real handy so that was 99p let me just double check for you I think it was there we go yeah 99p so I thought 99p for that that's really good really good bargain and the thing that I've noticed actually obviously you would imagine this at home bargains or poundland but the prices are really really good uh, and I will obviously uh, illustrate that even more so in a minute with a few of your items but yeah that's that one there now in the kind of idea of picking up something different that you don't see at the bigger high street uh, sort of supermarkets uh, are these these walkers Christmas dinner for sprout lovers. Now, I don't know, maybe these are at other supermarkets, but I went to Sainsbury's uh, not long ago, one of my local Sainsbury's, and I couldn't see these anywhere, so possibly they are going to come into the bigger stores at some point, but this was interesting. So these are, this is a six pack of Walker's crisps. Obviously, a lot of people know Walker's, and two of them are stir turkey and stuffing, two are Brussels sprouts, and two are pigs in blankets. So I thought it's interesting, something different. Again, these were 99p, so again, 
much cheaper than you would get at Sainsbury's, Tesco's, that sort of thing. I think I've seen at Sainsbury's and Tesco's, Walker's, like a six pack can be £1.50, £1.70, something like that. So yeah, really good, really good price on that and just something interesting and something festive for as we get closer and closer to the festive period this year. So yeah, that was those. So Milky Ways, I wanted to pick these up because I really do like Milky Ways. It's something I, I really love and I enjoy. Also, uh, one of the chocolates would be the lowest saturated fat. Well, these little bars are pretty decent. I think a 1.7 grams of saturated fat per little bar. And that is pretty decent. A lot of the other like Galaxy and Dairy Milk and stuff, for the, you know, for let's say the same amount of chocolate, the saturates would be much more than that. Trust me, I've looked around, I've looked at Twirls, I've looked at, um, oh, loads of, you know, I'd say Galaxy and Mars bars and things like that. And a lot of them have very, very high saturated fat. So I always pick up Milky Ways because it means that I can have more of them for the same amount of saturated fat than I would have, let's say, uh, on dairy milk for, for less. I'd be, I'd be able to have less for the same kind of amount of saturated fat. So let's say... In an evening, I want to have 3.5 grams of saturated fat. Well, two of these would come in at 3.4 grams of saturated fat. And that would be pretty decent. You know, that would be what I think is 20 gram each. Uh, these are 21 gram each. So that would be 40 grams of chocolate for my kind of allowance of 3.5 gram. Whereas, if I had dairy milk, I'd only get only a few little squares of that, you know, so, and I know, yeah, okay, dairy milk might be nicer than Milky Ways and stuff, it's really subjective, but yeah, that's why I got them, so they're nice because they're low saturated fat, and it means I can have a little bit more chocolate and not feel as bad for having as much chocolate, so yeah, that's those. Oh, also, I don't know if I said these were one ninety nine for 12, so I think that's pretty reasonable. I know we're only small bars, but still 12 of them, that's pretty decent. So, some chocolate coins. I really do like chocolate coins. Actually, saying that, I've just said about that, that chocolate being low in saturates. These are actually going to be pretty high in saturates, but... I like chocolate coins. I, I really, really do enjoy them. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think maybe the fact that they're round uh, gives them, or makes you feel at least, gives the um, idea that they're, that they're better, better tasting, or they taste, you know, they just taste nice or something. It does for me anyway. So yeah, they were fifty nine p for a little bag there. Obviously, that's not a brilliant, brilliant cost. I mean, if you went anywhere else, it'd probably be ninety nine p, or even maybe a bit more if you went to one a supermarket like Waitrose or M and S, but Still, you know, it's not an incredible, incredible saving, but it's still, it's okay, you know. But if I was getting, I could obviously uh, get more chocolate for my money if I were to go uh, somewhere else within the same store and, and buy a different style of chocolate than just the chocolate coins. But yeah, I did want to pick those up. So I used to have these quite a lot and I thought I would try them again because they were quite nice. I used to have them in high school and in college as well. Um, I did really enjoy these. I used to really enjoy these and they do give you a little bit of energy. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've not tried them in a while, so I'd have to kind of test that out again. But I think, they, you know, they're quite nice uh, little breakfast biscuits. So these are the Belvita uh, breakfast biscuits. Uh, sort of, I think it's a breakfast alternative rather than something to have with your breakfast. But I'm not sure. It might be something just to have with your breakfast. However, I used to always treat it as a breakfast al alternative because I'm not really one who can eat a lot in the morning. I, I, I can't stomach a lot of food in the morning. So I used to only ever have a very small breakfast or I sometimes just didn't have breakfast. So I used to kind of use these as my breakfast rather than alongside anything else that I'd be having. I think these were £1.39 worthy. Yeah, £1.39 for these, so I thought that was pretty decent. You know, it's not too bad. Don't know what they're like in other stores. Maybe they're around £1.50 to £2 in other stores. But I think that would be a fairly decent price for them. So one thirty nine on those. Now, this was my favourite buy of the day in terms of cost. So I got this little um, Corolla... Corolla... Corolla Basil. I guess that's just the brand there. Uh, K E R. A L A Koala or something. Anyway, so it's basil. It's a nice little, um, you know, it's quite a lot of basil in there that you get. You know, it's a nice little tub there. And this you can get in like Sainsbury's and Tesco and places like that if they're uh, like the own brand uh, for about a pound for the sort of the same amount of grams there or a similar amount of grams. And this was 39p. 
So, uh, yeah, I was really, really um, chuffed about that. It was a really, really nice little bargain there. And uh, I thought to myself, I'm going to go back and get more of this. And I'm going to have to go back and see what other stuff are really cheap because uh, the savings would be incredible. I wouldn't get every... Well, I mean, you can't really get everything from a place like Home Bargains anyway. I mean, there was veg and stuff on offer, but I don't know about meats and stuff. And I wouldn't really be tempted to get... Uh, well, I don't eat meat myself, but uh, I know my parents eat meat and stuff. And I personally, if I was eating meat, I wouldn't really be tempted to get it from Home Bargains. I'd like to go to a supermarket. It, but with a little bit more reputable like Sainsbury's or possibly Tesco's or M&S or something like that um, just that's just my personal preference I know I've tried the meat at Aldi um, and when back when I was eating meat before I was vegetarian um, but back when I was eating meat I did try the meat at Aldi and I've had mixed kind of responses on that sometimes I've had some and it's been okay other times not so much um, but you know certainly I'd be tempted to buy uh, a fair bit of stuff from something like somewhere like Quality Tave or somewhere like uh, even you know Aldi or somewhere like that because a lot of these things are cheap and I know that maybe Aldi or Lidl uh, I, I think there's another way of pronouncing Lidl isn't there as well Lidl or something I don't know but um Anyway, uh, I know that they might be a bit more expensive than Home Bargains or Poundland or somewhere like that, uh, but still, they'd be cheaper than Sainsbury's, Tesco's, those sort of places. So it's interesting, this. It's an interesting experience for me. So, yeah, that's that one. So I got these Noor uh, vegetable stock pots. Now, these were 99p. Again, I think these would have been coming in at cheaper than Sainsbury's. I think in Sainsbury's, these might be about £1.50 to £2. Again, something like that. I can't say the exact price, but I know they are more than 99p and I actually do like a little noodle soup thing and I normally put um, the concentrated vegetable stock it comes in a little pack um, kind of like a, a flip top bottle and you pour it in but I did just want to try these little pots as well now unfortunately I don't know whether I'd want to use a full pot for one noodle soup just for myself um, so I don't know whether I could probably use half a pot and then put it in the fridge and then the next day just use it you know if I was having it again uh, use the remainder of the pot um, because I think it would just be too much to have a full pot in, in one uh, noodle soup that I do unless I was doing it for multiple people on a specific day but yeah so I thought I was going to pick them up going to try them see what the flavour difference is like between these and the actual flip top bottles because I think these are slightly different in terms of ingredients than the uh, bottles that I just mentioned so yeah just interesting I was wanting to pick them up and just wanted to try them so just these no vegetable stock pots and as I say 99p on those so I needed some olive oil so this is the extra virgin olive oil uh, my the one I've got at the moment is very very near um, the, the kind of the end of the bottle the bottom of the bottle so I definitely needed some and I thought I'd just pick up this this is Bella Ricetta 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 Ricetta, I don't know, something like that the brand is, uh, Bella Ricetta, um, extra virgin olive oil, 500ml there, it, I think it's a fairly standard one, I don't think it's particularly brilliant or anything, I paid £1.39 for it, I don't know if I just said, um, but yeah, I thought, can't really go wrong with that, £1.39 for a nice little extra virgin olive oil, 500 millilitres. That's a really decent price, to be honest, because you can get olive oil in certain places. I mean, there's that uh, one that a lot of people like, is it Batoli Filipino, Filipino or something? I don't know, I, I can't pronounce the name. Um, I don't know if I'm getting that right or anything. I can't even spell it, really, but that's the one that a lot of people like. My grandma used to get it quite a lot, actually, um, and that's, like, four quid or something in Sainsbury's, so a lot of oils are fairly expensive, so that was quite good, um, and it looks like a half-decent one. It doesn't look like a really bargain basement one, um, so, yeah, I'm going to try that, see what that's like. I mean, with oil, really, I know certain people say we can tell the difference massively now i've had some quite expensive olive oils like five or six pound ones in the past just to try them out and to be honest i thought at first i could tell the difference and i was getting on board with it but then i'm thinking maybe not i mean i think you can tell the difference let's say when you're stir frying something something like that you can kind of tell um that there is a slight difference in taste with uh, the ingredients but only very very slightly so I'm not really bothered whether it's expensive oil or really really cheap oil to be honest but I would like to go somewhere in the middle um, so yeah that's that one there anyway I just thought I'd try that and then finally something I was quite excited about these Jaffa Cakes 5 festive orange, orange yule logs now how much would these here 70 yeah 
79p. I had to double check that because I thought 79p, that's decent. I, mean, I know there's only five of them, but a lot of these festive things in other supermarkets can be quite expensive. They can be like £1.25, £1.50, something like that. So 79p, that's pretty decent. Uh, I'd say there's only five of them in there, but it's something different, something festive, something interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm going to actually have one of these after this video. I'm going to get a cup of tea and I'm going to have one of these, see what they're like. Obviously, it's just going to be like a normal Jaffa cake, but in bar form. Um, but I thought, again, it's something slightly different and I wanted to pick that up. So, yeah, 79p for those. So, that is everything. So, I got, I don't know how many items I got there, maybe 9 or 10. Something like, yeah, I think 10 items for £9.91. Uh, so, an average of, what, 91 pence an item, is that? Something like that, or 90, well, no, basically like 99 pence an item, isn't it? Yeah, 99 pence an item. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed with some of the prices, to be honest. I'm pretty happy that I did this because I looked around and... Although, you know, I have been around Poundland and stuff like that before, but I've never really had a proper browse for loads of different things. I've gone in there for chocolate and stuff, cheap chocolate and cheap uh, certain other things, but I've not had a good look round. So it was very, very interesting to do this. And it was interesting to compare with other supermarkets, just in my head kind of thing of which is going to be cheaper and how much cheaper Poundland is or home home bargains are or whatever it may be uh, is than let's say those other supermarkets so yeah really really impressed and I might go back to another store similar store to maybe home bargains but possibly if I can find a Poundland near me then I might actually go to a specific Poundland uh, or I might go to another one I think uh, Pound Stretcher or something like that and just uh, again have a comparison with those and pick up some different things again uh, maybe some things that they stock that the larger retailers don't because a lot of the larger retailers are more picky with what they allow in I mean they do allow a lot of choice in but it's mainly um, you know brands that they vet and that they feel suitable whereas the smaller you know smaller locations are a little bit more lenient with allowing kind of growth companies in and companies that are just starting up in the, in the food business or whatever it may be they allow them in so I don't know why, but when I've just come to edit this video, my GoPro seemed to just cut off the footage randomly and uh, not record the last minute or so of that ramble you were listening to then. Uh, so I apologise, but there is no more footage to this video. But don't worry, I've kind of just saved your ears, or the GoPro has just saved your ears from listening to a minute long ramble about what things supermarkets let in and what things they don't let in with regards to uh, companies and new products. So at least you don't have to listen to that, right? I mean, that's a positive. So anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.